All right, an exciting day for Canada's space program. Uh, we're going to show you a live stream from the Canadian Space Agency. Uh, just behind that hatch door you, will be Canadian astronaut David St. Jacques on the International Space Station getting ready for his first spacewalk today. This mission is a bit ahead of schedule, actually, so it's set to begin soon. And who better to explain all of this than the last astronaut in space, Canadian astronaut in space? We've got former commander of the ISS, Chris Hadfield, joining us now on the phone. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning. How are you today? Oh, doing well. And you know what? I'm sure you're watching very closely, and it, it must be pretty interesting to watch from down here on Earth what's going on up there. Yeah, they just floated Anne and David into the airlock and closed the airlock. You can see through that tiny window if you're showing it. Um, that's where Anne and David are. Um, and they're now dumping the air, pumping the air out of the airlock so that it's getting lower and lower pressure until eventually they're right down to the empty vacuum of space. And then they'll open up the hatch and crawl outside and get to work. It, it's it's a, such a rare day for, for David, but, but even more so for humanity. It's a really cool day. So can you explain a little bit about what's going to be, uh, what they're going to be doing once they're out of that hatch and, and what their work will be? Um, well, the large part of it is uh, <laughs> it's a little bit like Cable Guy, actually. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, the first piece of the station was put up in 98, and so there have been a lot of changes since then. So uh, Ann and David have to fix one battery out there that's not working. It's a battery about the size of a bar fridge. And then they're going to be stringing cables that are for power for the space station, power for the Canadian arm, and then also um, like uh, communications and uh, video sort of cables so that um, as unmanned ships and new ships are coming up to the front of the station, they have connectivity right through the whole thing. So it's a, a whole bunch of really finicky cable routing. David will be climbing right in and outside of the truss of the space station. So like crawling in back and, and, um, and then climbing around the outside, he's going to be one busy guy for the next seven hours. Well, I was going to say for seven hours, it's very physical, but it's also very mental. What's, what, do you, what is going on through his head, do you think, at this time? Well, it, it, um, apart from launch, it'll be the most dangerous thing David's done in his life. He's out there. Uh, with nothing but a cloth, a little tiny pressurized uh, cloth suit, really, really like a, a one-person spaceship that is between him and the empty universe. So you have to focus and really pay attention that you don't make any mistakes. And then he's working with mission control. They've got to do everything right. It, you feel like you're, uh, you're running sort of as fast as you can or, or, or maybe lifting weights on a, on a bench press machine because the suit's so, so stiff. For, for seven hours, and, and it's so finicky and technical, all of the work they're doing. It, it's, it'll be the most uh, focused seven hours of his life also. Pretty incredible. Let me ask you, do you miss it? No, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I've walked in space twice, and, and uh, I don't miss my own life. You know, I, I love the things that have happened, and I'm delighted that since I did Canada's first spacewalk, um, Steve McLean walked in space, Dave Williams did about a decade ago, but today, David St. Jacques, on behalf of us all, is, uh, is in outer space. He's about to pull himself outside and, uh, and be one of the very few Canadians and human beings that's ever taken that early first step. Wow, and we will all be watching. Appreciate your time. That's Chris Hatfield. Thank you so much. Nice to